Guys, today I'd like to talk about my Hitch app. And like, I'm with this app for over a year, a little bit. Yeah, I would say that like, I have my university, so since I started to drive for Hitch. If we're talking about Hitch app, Hitch is a little bit different than many other apps I'm driving because like, the Hitch is kind of unique. Uh, and uh, I would say if you know how to use Hitch, you can make okay money, or if you're a full-time driver, that is another app to have, that is another app to consider. If you ask me, does Hitch has issues? Well, like all other apps, Hitch does have issues, but the whole concept is different, and like why I personally like Hitch app, because for me as a full-time driver, I honestly don't care whether I'll be doing deliveries for four hours, or I'll just go to college station and back. And sometimes for me personally, to drive for Hitch, uh, makes more sense and even to do deliveries because not always deliveries are that busy and uh, I don't really like to drive people I mean like I don't like to drive people on Uber and Lyft but I'm totally fine to drive people on Hitch why because I don't know just personal preferences plus while I'm driving on Hitch uh, I do have my preferred destinations I do prefer Austin to College Station and Austin to Dallas, Dallas or Fort Worth. Why? Because those two destinations work for me. I rarely do trips to Houston, I rarely do, I never actually did trips to San Antonio, Corpus Christi, um, why I don't like Houston, because like I live in north part of Austin and so from Dallas when I'm returning back, uh, many times I wouldn't have a ride back. And with that being said, uh, it's really easy to get to my house out of Dallas or out of Fort Worth. But if, if to choose destinations, let's say Austin College Station and Austin Dallas, I probably would go to Austin College Station. If you have a question, can drivers make two trips per day? Yes, I had days when I was doing like two trips per day. And usually it was Austin College Station or some Fridays, but it was, uh, I would say May, when Hitch gets really busy for students. So in May, what I was doing, I was doing Austin Fort Worth and back, and then Austin Fort Worth and back. So yes, it is possible to do two, two trips per day, but it's not as common as one might think. Okay, so with that being said, uh, what issues I'm facing on Hitch? Like, as I said, like all other apps, Hitch does have issues and it has a lot of room to grow, especially it is true for shared rides because like one person or group of people book private ride, it's a little bit different than shared rides. Shared rides, especially to college station, the issues I was having, the amount of luggage people can have. And also if somebody on a ride is being late because like sometimes you can have different pickups and like let's say your first pickup was late then the whole trip is messed up because like then you need to go like to pick up to another starbucks and then you're kind of running late but if you do have a trip back you also will be running late so on hitch i would say it's extremely important to communicate with your passengers, because on shared rides, people are usually really nice. You just need to address, you just need to text. And it's true both for drivers and for clients. Uh, but yeah, shared rides also, okay. So I said timing, timing is the biggest issue on shared rides on Hitch. Also, I did had issues with luggage. Because like, let's say if you're on shared ride and it's couple of people with huge suitcases, even though I do have a Toyota Camry, not always you can fit all this luggage into your car. Um, I had issues on Hitch with airport rides. I had issues with pickup rides on the airport with the amount of luggage, but like just remember timing and amount of luggage, that is two issues you'll be having on Hitch. You might potentially. Uh, if we're talking about app itself, if we're talking about prices on Hitch, uh, there is another thing like I totally don't like pricing for me personally, Austin College Station. I honestly think that for drivers, Austin, Houston, wait, 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 I just said College Station, sorry. So Austin, Houston, uh, I think that those trips are supposed to be higher for the drivers. Again, that is just my personal opinion. Mm, maybe some people like Austin to drive to Houston. I don't. I don't like Houston traffic. I prefer Dallas over Houston. Again, that is just a matter of personal preferences. 
uh, also when you're driving on hitch sometimes it's totally based on your mood you know sometimes i had the best conversations in my life with my clients uh, sometimes i never i didn't say a word during the whole trip and like it can be like four hour trip and you can be just like listening to your podcasts or do, do, doing whatever you can you know so it really depends it really depends and it depends from your personality sometimes we, we stop to have lunches sometimes we didn't we didn't like you know it, it it really depends from a mood it really depends from lots of lots of lots of factors uh so do i recommend okay that is okay that is that is my referral code if you need it just use it uh, also i would say that uh 80 percent of my clients who i drove on hitch they really liked uh driving on hitch uh being passengers on hitch they like the drivers they like the cars 20 percent they didn't like hitch but their main complaint again was timing and the other complaint was uh lack of communication because like some people prefer to have like a real phone number with the contact uh, real real person instead of just texting and chatting via email or via chat so that was another complaint uh, my complaint uh, as a driver I would say was um, okay so I had some rides where people had pets and not always I knew that the app is actually planning i don't know can you see me okay so um i didn't know that the client will have pets or he texted me the last minute and let's be honest in this car i would never allow pet on my previous one i uh, it's not that i really allowed pets but i was more okay to put a pet in that car so of course pets they cause a lot of lots of issues but so with pets you really need to communicate with the drivers about all this if we're talking about like what i can tell you also about hitch is that like in a year i can i can see improvements i can see a huge improvements in the app i can see more clients and as i said like i do see potential in hitch versus many other apps and i do see that uh between like uh how you call it um there is more communication between passengers and drivers and there is more communication between actually uh people who work for the apps and in other apps it's more like personal touch i don't know maybe because i'm driving in austin uh but you know i had vip clients i had not vip clients i treat everybody the same i don't care vip not vip uh but yeah so i would say hitch is a great platform just have it try it and be smart about the orders you choose because like not orders will make sense to you and happy edition guys